great sugar booger. Greg Koch here, IK Multimedia World Headquarters here in beautiful Italy. And we're having fun with the iRig Stomp IO, which is a glorious standalone IO device. We can use this crazy iRig Stomp IO to interface with, say I got my iPhone out, my iPad, my Mac device, even, of course, PC. Unfortunately, Atari and Intellivision are not included in the devices that this can interface with. What's particularly fun about this device is that we can set it up like it's your pedal board. Performing in the studio or at a live gig situation, I can have it turn my pedals on and off. I can assign the expression pedal that's integrated, or I can have two external expression pedals. And then with the live feature that now exists in Amplitube, you can use the iRig Stomp to interface with it in a very intuitive way, making live performance so much more conducive to Savage Musical Congress. You want to be able to have touch sensitivity and absolute dynamic control. And these devices, ladies and gentlemen, make it easy to make music and have fun. So what I did with the iRig Stomp I.O. I.O. is I was able to set four presets as far as my pedals were concerned. So it's like this is my pedal board, this is my amp, everything's right in front of me. Came in, plugged in, and was able to stomp, turn things on and off, mess with the parameters as I needed to beforehand, and was ready to go. Right now I'm in stomp mode. If I go back over here and go into preset mode, look at this first one, 53 basement. I can read that from space. Well, that might be a stretch. A 53 basemen, like this amplifier right here, you're going to see that there are only two controls. There's a volume and there's a tone. And I have both of them maxed out, which is great because of those old tweed amps, when you turn them all the way up, they would, the, they would like beg for mercy and sound like they were about to explode, but you turn the volume down on the guitar. It's all nice and clean. It's just a little bit of frosting, and then you turn it up. They're a little fuzzy, a little boxy sounding. All those tweed amps, in reality, that's what they would sound like, and that's what this amp sounds like in amplitude. Plexi Marshall, this little bad boy right behind me. Uh, glorious old amps, of course. If you had them cranked in reality, you'd be um, an enemy to your neighbors. Turn the volume down. Also, the, the jumping channels things that worked on the old Tweed amps also worked on Marshall amps, so I'm plugged into both channels, high treble and normal. I've got them both almost on 10 to give them a <laughs> Sounds glorious. Our next amp that we're gonna mess around with, folks, is we're gonna go to a 57 custom Fender twin amplifier like this one right here. Now there are high powered twins and low powered twins. So let's check it out. I'm gonna use my preset right here. old amps, when you turn down the volume of your guitar, they clean up, and you turn them up, they have this kind of slightly boxy, frizzy, fuzzy thing that really sounds glorious. Sounds good. 
Uh, this orange amp right here in the digital realm is the same orange amp as right over here, the OR50 40th anniversary. Glorious English rock and roll sound. <laughs> All right, 65 Super Reverb. This is one I've been messing around with quite a bit because I've got a lot of familiarity with old supers. <laughs> I'm on the Super Reverb. I want to turn my Univibe on and off. I want to add a little heat. I want to turn the heat off. I want to put a little delay on. I want to put the delay and the Univibe. I want to control my Univibe. All well and good. Maybe I want to engage in a little spirited wah-wah activity. I can turn this thing on. You get the idea. All right, now I'm going to go to my preset six. That head up there, ladies and gentlemen, which is the lead channel on a Boogie Mark IV, which is a nice <laughs> crunchy distortion sound. It's different from the orange or the Marshall. It's got a harder bottom to it, more of a direct distortion high gain. Than <laughs> control there for a minute but you know what that's what these things are for to have fun with doggone it it's like totally like using a regular pedal board except that you can get all kinds of complicated with this stuff uh, but you can also just set it up to just be an intuitive rig like it would be if the pedals were sitting here in reality so this is the iRig Stomp IO by IK Multimedia I'm Greg Hawk here in Italy at the home headquarters of IK having fun with this glorious contraption stay tuned for more